This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. In the last episode, we uh, collected some stuff and finally killed the slaver. And it set, set us up in the right direction to uh, find out where the Black Hand is by finding his slave, which we found out was a dude that was trying to save the captives from the slaver. Uh, one step to go and you know, 100 more left. But today we found an interesting figure has uh, followed us and has wanted our presence. Let's talk to this strange creature indeed. What sort of road it hides in the shadows, I wonder. Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. You feel he has answers? For both of us. We should find him then. It shouldn't be too difficult. Is it just me, or did the ranger kind of just accept the wraith pretty quickly as like something he just as uh, uh, you know just a accept, you know? Just All right, so we need to rescue some slaves while we're doing this, right? So, but yeah, it's just like they just never had a they didn't have a scene of like them trying to like wait, who are you and all this other stuff. It's just like. Nope, we accept you who for whoever you are. Fantastic. Let's, uh, let's kill one before we get the others. Huh? Oh, that was easy. Aha! I like the sound that they make when they kill, or like when you strangle them. Like, sounds like something from like, uh, um, oh, uh, from um. Nice. Mess that up. Oh well. I'm still kind of getting used to the uh, fighting controls and everything. Even our guests deserve this fight. The chain of man seems to always end in shackles. Uh, yes. This creature wants to battle. Yes, cryptic, uh, cryptic, uh, wraith like dude. Creature is enough to climb up. Team of slaves finally escaped. That was my camp. Their first attempt oh. would have been met with blood. Cut the light. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's uh, go up here. Right, I just. Okay, there we go. Come on. Alright. I guess we're still seen in Wraith form. It just it just kind of uh, uh, you just have to acknowledge it as being something else while you're while you're running around in Wraith form. I know myself. How could a rogue possibly know the right? It is somehow connected to me. I feel it. Oh, well, what's this? Huh? Can you actually do it? Oh, but there's no point to it. Okay, fine. So we need to go up there, but I'm going to save up some. Okay, let's take care of those guys to save some dudes. Oh, I popped out of the butchers, bitches! Haha! <laughs> and back inside. Yeah. <laughs> You don't see me. You're dead now. You're saved! Fly, you fools! Seriously? That didn't count? Aw. Huh. Well then. I thought that counted as saving them if I did that. Alright then. I could've just left them alone. That, they'll teach me to be a hero. Ugh. Although I don't... I'm not sure if the main character is a character is supposed to be a hero. I might not guess because of what happened, but I don't know. Do not hesitate. Run oh. to freedom. Oh, there you go then. Okay, so we just had to take everyone out. Oh, thank you, game. No, oh, come on. Just drop down. This guy kind of almost acts like a. If I remember correctly, that the that the people who uh. 
if I remember this game correctly, or what I was talking, they were talking about, like when they put it together, I heard, um, I heard like Batman, Arkham Asylum, and like Assassin's Creed were like heavy influences for for the for the game for the most part. And you can kind of see that, especially Assassin's Creed for uh, being able to just like climb everywhere and anywhere in this game. Whoa! Why did you do that? That was. Really I mean, I could go out of range for him, but I feel like it's just... Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Let's get some weeds so we can heal ourselves. Ooh, we got a new uh, flower. Beware the snare, goes the old wives saying. But the old wives, at least in the case of Rim and Han, have been horribly misled. The tangled root, known as Hem and Han, received its bad reputation because of its persistence as a a crop wrecking weed and its ability to stand firm against even the most energetic attempts to pull it from the ground. It doesn't look very very happy to see people because it looks all spiky. The trick here is to cut the roots at the surface and then squeeze the sap. Its sap can be used to bind wounds and soothe burns. Remen Hond is traceable, true, but invaluable. Retractable? Anyway. Seems like every single plant has healing capabilities. Well, I mean, I guess you could say the same with a lot of that type of stuff. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find that creature. There. It's on the what run. the? Who's there? Come back here. Strange creature. Ah, bats. Hello, mushrooms. Gotta get some mushrooms. Let's see what these are. Blue milk. Or is it milk? I think it's blue milk. It would be hard, if not impossible, to mistake the blue milk. This rare but delicious mushroom sports a blue cap and stalk. When cut, it produces a blue-hued, milky substance that is commonly employed in a variety of medicinal concoctions. A single blue milk, when consumed, will quell hunger for up to half a day and can instill a sense of heightened awareness. The mushroom cap and stalk can be separated and dried, then ground into flakes that are used in soups or employed by healers, medically... Uh, Medicinally and salves and unguents, un unguents to treat sores. Man, this guy truly is a ranger. He should open up his own pharmacy if he ever gets around. Although, what would happen if he breaks the curse? Would that basically cause him to finally die? Because he is technically dead. Remember? Whoa! Apparently, this guy's been uh, creature's been walking around all over the place. And apparently, he oh, hello, spider. <laughs> Get back here, spider. Wait, where'd it go? Ah, it disappeared. There's like a survival thing if you kill like three spiders. Oh, there, there's one. Aha. Just need to kill two more. Whenever we find them. And Ungo Man, we're finding everything about the game today. Ungal. These are oversized spiders. The evil intelligent children of the spider queen, Shelob. Ooh who uh, Sam fights in the, the final book, Return of the King, if I remember correctly. I don't think, and he doesn't kill her, which is interesting enough, because usually when you fight characters like that in story, you usually kill the thing, but in this case, she loves just so powerful that he just had to weaken her and she ran off. While, they were, while they've taken Nan Ungol, Sindarin, for Valley of the Spires as their primary home, they've since spread, spread across Mordor, taking residence in its caves and other dark places, and are actively reporting back to their queen. Their nests and lairs are littered with the crushed bones of their prey. They are not afraid to make victims in the encroaching Uruks. The recent stirrings in Mordor have been bold in the Ungols and piqued the curiosity of the Spider Queen, but to what end remains a mystery. I think in the... Cimmerillion and in the uh, ex extended stuff like uh, appendices talk more about Shelob, like where she comes from, what her what her power, like what her importance is, and all that all that fun stuff. But uh, I don't remember. I am not the I am. Oh, another one. Okay. Ah, come on. I want to get that hunter's quest. Uh, you get a hundred thing if you feel like me. Yay! Alright, I'm good. We'll get some new challenges later. Kill fly flying creatures, huh? Ooh, God, we're just unlocking abilities left and right today. Alright. Soon at some point we're just gonna be, uh... 
have an extra ones. That tends to happen when I play open world games. I tend to get like get a lot of experience and abilities way before I'm supposed to, or or I get enough stockpiled for later. But anyway, ooh, another uh, looks like another item. Let's grab it. I haven't taken any damage, but you know, hey. Oh, so we need pipe weed now. Okay. Anyway, hello. Oh, <laughs> God. Sorry, folks. I. I'll try to make it more action-packed next time. A segmented fungus, sometimes referred to as a cave flower, leth lethrond, tends to grow in dark and dingy places. It is remarkable hardly hardy and can tolerate great shifts in the temperature, and something of a delicacy for both the badger and hobbit folk. Healers traditionally boil the fungus, stalk and all, and create a broth of clear to clear one's air passages. It is also possible to combine lothrin with other common herbs to brew potions and salves, which can, among other things, create a temporary and inflated sense of heroism. Hmm. I wonder. Actually, I think that's also mentioned in the books. I think most of the stuff is mentioned in the books, interesting enough. Like, they did... I mean, there might be some that's some stuff that's made up, but... But I think most of it is from the appendices and extended stuff. <laughs> can't deal with that creature for now or those missing memories we got a creature to fight uh oh it's like one of those selling selling things or whatever they're called in the face Ooh. oh i could have focused <laughs> that's funny all right anyway so it's about to attack us and we just shoot it in the face almost comically so oh is there anything else up here for it? i don't think so okay let's chase after it it's getting away Hey, broke arm and he's gonna lie, Robin Twins. Wow. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, I need to grab some, uh. Uh oh. Nuts! He attracted everyone. Dick! They must have tracked the categories here. Hunter should be dealt with quickly. Press A while running to dodge spears. Oh, and the dogs are hitting him too anyway, so... Eh, not too bad. I keep forgetting to use execution <laughs> every time I I get to... Uh-oh. Oh, dodge. Okay. Yes, of course, I to dodge, which definitely helps. Can't see where I'm going, game! Jesus Christ. The cowardly creature lurks around here somewhere. Mm. Nuts. Alright. Where'd he go? Ah! He will remember Precious. We will make him. Yes, yes, yes. We must have him back. We must have him. Ah. Quiet. Could sneak up on me so easily, eh? No, no, don't hurt us! Ah, uh, find the truth. What does he know of it? Bright master. Yes, we know his bright 
must, must come to us in our dreams. See me. you care about the plot I mean if you do all the stories you kind of figure out who, who the wraith is by the way anyway yes uh, we we have encountered Gollum in the game which I guess could work because because uh, if this takes place after the Hobbit before War of the Rings like most of the time Gollum's trying to find the I mean it's no if you've read the books or watched the movies he's basically trying to find the one ring after uh, Bilbo Baggins took it in The Hobbit, so he's been basically wandering around for years. Uh, so, I mean, he could have easily gotten to Mordor at some point. I don't know, I mean, best, best guess I can give you. Gollum, a pathetic creature. Gollum has all but forgotten his original name. He was Smeagol, a hobbit corrupted beyond redemption by the power of the One Ring. Smeagol obtained the ring, affectionately called My Precious, through treachery and took it to his new home under the Misty Mountains. Under the ring's evil influences, Smeagol lived for centuries, his mind destroyed and his body twisted into a pale skeletal form. The orcs he preyed upon called him Gollum after his horrid choking cough and the name stuck. Schmeagel was no more. After four centuries, the ring grew restless and sought a new owner in the hobbit Bilbo Baggins. But Gollum has not forgotten his precious. He has journeyed into Mordor to find it, drawn to the power of the Ringmaker. The Ringmaker, huh? Where's that? Ah, it's probably not important. Well, we found that, but I guess Schmeagel, or sorry, Gollum, is going to help us find more treasures for our, our elven companion. Uh, oops. Okay, what is our next target? I think, well, obviously our next target is to go after the spirit of Mordor there. However, I think for now, let's go tackle a bridge tower. We'll do some more plot. Well, it did some plot today, but for now, let's uh, go uh, do a forge tower so we can explore another area. I'm still trying to decide if I want to just collect all the artifacts and everything off screen. But the thing is, uh, the characters talk when, when that happens, so I'm almost kind of don't want to do that off screen just so you get the reactions or what they say about certain things, you know, so. Oh, another, uh, man, today is learn, learn about uh, Middle Earth today, folks. Did you know that the Az oh, never mind. Azradan, known to most as Azradan for, or Blue Mist, this rooted plant grows tall and hale and hardy across Middle Earth. Its persistent growth and resistance to all attempts to remove it from tilled soil has also gained Azradan the nickname Farmer's Sorrow. It may be burdensome as a weed, but its medicinal value is significant. Its beguiling and sweet azure shoots often are often added to droughts to alleviate pain from kidney stones. Ugh. Azradan's ground roots, when chewed, diminish the pain of a headache, and healers have noted the plant's therapeutic value in the balancing and restoration of the humors. I've had kidney stones, by the way. They suck. They suck a lot. <laughs> so yes, a plant like that would be, would be a godsend for those who are suffering from lack of water. So yes, drink your water, people. Don't just, like, dick around and just kind of ignore it. Seriously, lack of water is what causes a... Uh... Okay, fine. I was going to sneak up on you, but whatever. <laughs> Watch out, he's got hands. Right. And let's execute this dude. Ugh. At least I'm remembering to actually use my XO. Oh, at least I remember to use my execute move every once in a while, you know, like I'm supposed to. Okay. Ooh, hello. Looks like we got another plant. 
Oh, pipe weed, huh? Yep, <laughs> another entry, folks. Don't worry, at some point we will get a lot of these off off the bat, so we won't have to worry about it later. Pipeweed, known by many different names, this fragrant herb can be found throughout Middle Earth. Its leaves are commonly dried, cut, and smoked in pipes by humans, hobbits, and dwarves. Because of the weed's popularity as a smoked agent, farmers have taken to devoting portions of all, or all, of their fields specifically for its growth and sale. It's tobacco! The flowers of pipeweed plants are less in demand and almost bitter tasting, but there's some evidence that these two have some value. Skilled herbalists have suggested the flowers properly applied can dull pain and inspire the senses. So. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want, Mr. Tolkien, but that's that's tobacco. I mean, pretty much. Okay, anyway. Let's see, what is that red? Is that just another... Oh, it's another plant, just a different color. Uh-oh. Yeah. Elgrin. El Elgrin. The blood red flower Elgrin may have grown in Middle Earth for centuries, perhaps since its first age. Ancient texts suggest it was an evil omen, flowering where the bones of dead men rest. According to legend, Elgarin also thrives on mis mishap, death, and the suffering of others. The Uruks despise the plant because of its striking beauty and have targeted it for extermination to the extent that they've ignored the plant's usefulness as both the anti-toxin anti and anti-venom. Huh. Neat. Alright. Anyway, time to... What's actually... Oh, actually, I'm not even going to be able to get to the tower. I may just show you me capturing the tower at the beginning of the next episode since we're... A time... Ah! Don't find me. I don't want... I mean, yeah, you're not hard yet, but... Whoa! That's... Alright, I'm just going to run past these dudes. There's way too many people around here. Screw this noise. Wait, wasn't I supposed to uh, go to the tower? Didn't I highlight that? Yeah, you know what? I'll... I'll Last episode I cut a little, a little short, so let's just go to the tower really quick and get the credit for that. Man, I didn't notice how fast things could spawn. Like, they, they, those things spawn like really fast. It's like, boom, that, now we gotta, oh, you have to be a, uh, do you have to be a wraith to do that? Oh, I guess you do. Huh, okay, cool. That makes sense, I guess. Why not? All right. Let's reforge it and unlock this place. Boom! I see that all can I can see. Oh! These towers reach from now we can fast travel. Tomorrow, I live on in these stones. You can fast travel to unlocked forged towers on the map anytime you're not in combat or on a mission. When you die, you'll resurrect the nearest tower, unlocked forged tower. Mm -hmm. You can also advance time in the world by highlighting an unlocked forge tower and pressing Y. Advancing time will resolve power struggles, repopulate herbs, and change the time of day. Hmm. Okay. Something to think about. I'll try not to do that for the most part, because I'd rather not change power struggles. Well, well, I don't know. Maybe if I fight a particularly dangerous enemy. Because sometimes some captains can become so powerful that it's just like, you know, you don't want to mess with it anymore. Or you want certain, certain uh, lieutenants to disappear, but... Ooh. Ah, one more for the road before we end the episode. Barad Slime. Nothing is known about these inanimate, ign egg, inanimate, enigmatic runes, creation, or destruction, save for the haunted visions of the wraith possessing the Dune Ranger Talion. These towers are familiar. The eternal enemy, time, has cloaked their purpose, obscuring their forms and made a distant memory of their creators. Until such times as their origins are uncovered, we can only classify these ruined monoliths as Barad Slime. Or is that Slim? I think that's Slim or Silmi. Barad Silmi. Okay. Towers of Starlight. Unseen, they are shadows of Mordor's distant, violent past, reflecting memories of the lost Elvish land, Eregion. Man, talk about like just random fancy babble. Although Tolkien, well, he's not the originator of it, but Tolkien was definitely the master of fancy babble. So, anyway. Looks like we found out uh, uh, found out a, an unlikely ally in Gollum who will show our, us histories of, of uh, the Wraith's past. Maybe they'll help us get new abilities as well as help us understand them to uh, find the Black Hand. But the Black Hand's still out there and there's more to do. So in the next episode of Middle Earth Shadow Mordor, we'll continue to do that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>